hello, Macaulay. Hey, remember that trout dinner I promised you? No. No, no, fresh from the lake, sautéed in a little bit of butter and herbs. Oh, yes, it's beginning to come back to me now. It just so happened one well, of these big fellows attached himself to my hook today, and I've got no way of freezing it, and it would be a perfect dinner for two, so I was wondering, uh, what do you think, Melinda? Is this an invitation? I'll be all set up to cook in about an hour. Be here. Aloha. Charlie says that it's going to be a big time payback for the rush. Yeah, yeah, I know. Tickets to the White Sox game. Thank you, Alfred. And the Cubs and the Bears and the. Fletcher! Great. Jelly? Jelly, come in. Come on. Are you all right? No. Why? What's happened? Not much. Just that I've lost everything that ever mattered to me. Everything. So if you know a way to bring Roger Thorpe down, you tell me. I feel so foolish, so right. silly, right. because I wanted to surprise you with your wedding present. I wanted to see the look on your face. You'd be so... So what are you doing? I'm calling the police. Why? Why? Reporting a stolen car does come to mind. No, no, you don't have to do that. Why not? Uh, oh, because I have an idea where the car might be. Oh, the shark bait has such teeth. What happened? Mrs. Pappas, what'd you do? Change station! Hey, I was grooving out to that. Grooving? You're dating yourself, boss. You bet I am. Hey, doesn't this thing bring you back some? They no make them like they used to. Oh, yeah. This thing, when you drove this, you were king of the ring. So much room inside, no like new models. Yeah, the engine wouldn't heat up until 90 miles an hour. Mm. Must have cost fortune. Uh, where do you get it, boss? Uh, we're fixing it. And hopefully fixing everything. What? What's wrong now? Mm, it's broken again for the third time this week. Well, fine. Just leave it there and I'll fix it later. We need a new one, Frank. Then why don't you get Alan Michael to buy you a new one? Oh, that is very low, Frank. That is much beneath you. Oh, yeah? And I guess it wasn't beneath you to ask Alan Michael for more money, huh? Look, I am not the one who started this. 
I would do it again and again. Damn it, Elaine. Alan Michael did not have the money to help us. Do you feel better? Are you happy? No, that's not the point here. You broke your end of the bargain. You broke the faith in you and me. All right, do not talk to me about bargains. Do not talk to me about faith. Just do not talk to me at all, all right, Frank? And, and you know what else? I told you that I was going to go see Alan Michael. I told you this, and you are making me feel dirty about this. How dare you do that? I am Marina's father, and I will take care of her. Well, Frankie, I am Marina's mother, and no matter how much I love you, you cannot stop me from doing what is best for my child. You can't! Randy? Yeah, I don't know. Hello. Sorry, I can't afford to uh, give you the good stuff anymore, but I think this might help you. Roger? Yes. Have a seat. Yeah. He's why I can't afford the good stuff anymore. Why is it that he always gets away with the things he does? Money, Jelly. Money. Today I didn't have enough money to, to give to somebody that I thought I would never have to say no to. Well, people like Roger shouldn't have so much money. My thoughts exactly. Jilly, wouldn't it be satisfying to take all of Roger's and Jenna's toys away from them? Hmm? Uh, I understand. Of course, people like you and me, who hold ourselves a much higher standard of conduct, we're kind of, kind of in a bad place, you know? My marriage ended today for good. I don't have a standard of conduct left. I had something to give you, but I'm afraid you got a wrong number here, because I'm fresh out of everything. So maybe you just better run along now, huh? Garage? Uh, yes. Let me get this straight. You forgot that the car is in a garage? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Uh, well, I... I'm sorry, but your present's broken. What's wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, they didn't tell you? Well, the man... Well, he did. He told me something about the machinery of the car. But you know me, I don't know much about engines, so I can't even lift the bonnet. Hood. Hood. Right. Bonnets are only found on... Very, very English cars. <laughs> you didn't get me a rolls, did you? You, I didn't. I got you something much more precious than Ooh, that. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Neither can I. So where is it? Where's what? The garage. Oh, the garage. Uh, I don't know. Well, you had somebody else drive it there? No. Well, yes. Yes, he picked it up. The mechanic? Yes. You seem upset. No, I'm not. I mean, I am. I'm, well, I am, because it was supposed to be a surprise for you. Well, and a very sweet surprise it would have been, too. Oh, good. But I will love it nonetheless. Oh, thank you. So what's the name? What name? Of the garage. Oh, the garage. It's, um... I forget. You forgot the name of the garage? 
<laughs> well, he told me. I mean, I should have asked him again, but he said he'd call. Jenna, it's not like you to be so trusting. Oh, now, don't worry. I'm going to have that car back to you in no time flat. Hey, I'm not worried oh. in the least. Okay. Dinner? Home tonight? Sounds good. I have a couple of errands to run, but I won't be late. Okay. See you when you get there. Okay. I mean, here. 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 Yeah, see you when you get here. Well, adios, boss. Adios. Uh, take care. <laughs> I'm trying. Who knows I'm trying? Well, God helps those who help themselves. I'm helping myself to this beautifully tooled, perfect piece of machinery without which this automobile would just be a magnificent lump of statuary. This aluminum and Teflon. A life expectancy of, say, 200 miles. <laughs> and when the life is snuffed out, who do they call? Hey! Whoa! Whoa! What? what? I, uh, hey, look, if you're gonna kick something, why don't you, uh, you might get something solid. I'd break a toe. Where did this come from? Way out west. Why? Whose is it? It's going back. Don't worry about it. What's got you all upset? Nothing. Oh, come on. Come on now. What is it? I can take care of this myself, yeah, okay? Yeah, like kicking the trash. Your son is a mule. <laughs> that's, that's hardly a, a piece of Spanish news to me, man. No, he is so stubborn, Buzz. You're talking to a guy that had to drag the kid away from his television set every every two hours. What are you talking about? Uh, Get Smart was a favorite show by a guy that thought his shoe was a telephone. Well, you know, it's just a shame that Frankie did not get smart. That's what I always said. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. I can't She's my wife. I'll take care of her. You better. So you didn't see anything, huh? You figure you got broke into. Nobody suspicious, nobody that you didn't recognize hanging around the boathouse? Uh-uh. Well, you must have missed them, because somebody was here. Well, how can you tell? Everything looks ship-shape. I was a cop. I'm big on clues. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Anything seems out of whack, even if it's just the least little thing, mm -hmm. you let me know. if I barged in here uninvited. What'd you bring? Maybe I should just go. No, what's in the bag? There is such a thing as making a person feel welcome, you know. I'm sorry. Please, sit down, take a seat, relax, make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. How's that? Salad from the gourmet shop. Oh. Is that where you lost it? What? Your temper, I'd hate to be on your bad side. Well, you're doing a pretty good job of it. I'm sorry, you're right. I shouldn't take this out on you. Why? But to be honest with you, right now, the last thing I really need to deal with is somebody's jealous boyfriend. Do you want to tell me what you're talking about? Nick McHenry, your paper boy. I broke in here today. <laughs> 